Gold Coast, Australia. The Gold Coast star attraction is its beaches, including the world-renowned stretch of sand at Surfer's Paradise. Gold Coast encompasses several towns and cities, but Surfer's Paradise is the region's premier nightlife destination. There are plenty of bars, lounges, and nightclubs to visit for an unforgettable night with friends. One of Gold Coast's popular nightclubs is Sin City. Modeled after some of the best Vegas nightclubs, Sin City includes the ultimate in sound, lighting, and video systems in exquisite designer mezzanine style levels, spinning the very best of top 40 R&B, hip-hop, and commercial dance in the most breathtaking atmosphere you'll ever find without leaving the country. Hello, is that? Um, I might have a bit of a situation. See, um, I met up with a girl <clears throat> for a date tonight. And um, she started getting really aggressive. Like, it was all right at first. And, like, <clears throat> we, you know, had sex in bed. And then after that, like, she kept drinking. And we were both drinking. And she, like... <clears throat> I, I think she thought it was like a joke or something, but she kept like beating me up and whatever. Yeah, and um, it was because she was really drunk. And um, like I, I forced her out on the balcony and I, I think she might have jumped off. Like I, I, I've, I, I've been walking around in there, like a million cops around my building. I, I'm f I, I don't know what to do. I d I didn't cause this, like I I didn't push her or anything, I like I just no no. Um I'm, I'm like just walking around the area and there's like a million cops around the area. This is really fed up. I'm I'm like um next to uh Domino's. So like um I, I didn't this isn't my fault, I didn't do this. I I I I, I was um giving her my alcohol, but she, she was really violent. And, um, I don't know. Um, I like tackled her on my floor in, inside the building. And then but I, I never forced her over the balcony. God, no, I, I never do anything like that. I, it's really f***ed up. I'm, I don't know what to do. Like I'm, I'm just, um, I'm walking around the area and I, I just see merely cops around Avalon. That this is really, really fucked up. Why does this shit keep happening to me? Like, I, I, I kind of like walk past the building a few times and there's a million cops out there. I don't know what the f happened. It's crazy. This is fucked up. This is so fucked up. I, I swear to God, I, I didn't push her or anything. I, I just chucked her out on the balcony and shut the door because she was beating me up. All right. The audio that you just heard was from Gable Tosti. A Gold Coast resident and playboy, Gable Tosti, 30 years old, was a frequent club goer and loved nightly hookups with random women. Gable often used the Tinder dating app in between club outings for his hookup cravings. There is where he came across Warina Wright, a 26-year-old humanitarian from New Zealand. Over a couple of days of messaging back and forth, the two decided to meet up. Little did Warina know that this would be a grave mistake. During their meeting, they hung out, went to a couple of bars, and even played some pool before heading back to Gabriel's 14th floor apartment in the area. They continue to drink and have sex and even take some pictures together. All while Gable recorded the audio on his cell phone for his own personal documentation purposes, which was later used for the final outcome of this story. Not long after, things took a turn for the worse. The following audio is from Gable's phone that night, and may be disturbing for some viewers. Call them with what? I thought you lost your phone. Exactly.
So how are you gonna call anyone without you your phone? You stole my fucking phone. I didn't touch your goddamn phone. You guys fucking stole my shit. Shit, I should so never. So that's why I'm fucking calling them. Should have never given you so much to drink. I thought we were gonna have fun. Well, where's my shit? Where's your Where phone? Where's my shit? What's your phone number? I'll. Go away, hundred fucking psycho bitch. I don't deserve this shit, alright? I'm a nice fucking guy. Oh, yeah. Nice fucking guy with all the money. Must be on the balcony. Oh, well, I have shitloads of money, guys. My fucking money. Stop. Just calm down, please. You're, I'm not coming down because... You've had too much to drink, alright? I'm Just... not coming down because I've had so much to drink and I have shitloads of money in New Zealand. It's not funny. Because I'm a fucking rich in New Zealand. It's not fucking funny. And it's shitty because I fucking rule in New Zealand. And it fucking sucks because people fucking take advantage of me in New Zealand. And it's shit. Because I have fucking money. It's not fucking funny. Shit. You know? Calm down, please. Do you know? Do you even remember what you were doing to me like half an hour ago? It was freaking yeah. me out. You beat me up for no reason. Exactly. Why? Because you said you were freak. You thought it was funny or something. It's not. No, I told you. <laughs> Alright, I give up. What do you want? What do I have to do? Oh! Ah. <sighs> It's not about who you need. It's about who you give a shit now. Baby. Fuck. I thought you were only kidding, but you're not. You're the poo. You poo. Go on. Right now. See, I thought you were kidding. And I've taken enough. This is fucking bullshit. You're lucky I haven't chucked you off my fucking balcony, you goddamn psycho little bitch. Who the fuck do you think you are? Yeah. Do you Muay Thai now? What? What? Got something to say? Say it. Yeah. Say it. What? I'm the one who's injured. You don't have a goddamn scratch on you, you little bitch. Seriously, I do. Seriously, what? Seriously, what? Seriously, what? Do you? You don't understand anything at all, do you? You don't understand. You don't understand, do you? You 
just don't understand. Let go. You think you can hit me? And I'll just like fall down, like in the movies? Huh? You don't understand thing, do you? Let go of it. Let go. Let go. Let go. Just after 2 a.m., Gabriel Collar Widener awakes to the sound of a scuffle and a woman's panic screams. Gabrielle lived on the floor directly below Gabriel's. Two months earlier, she heard similar screams coming from Gabriel's apartment. This time, she leaps up and looks out her glass terrace door, and what she sees completely horrifies her. Two legs dangling from the balcony above. Before she could react, the woman slipped. The following images frequently circulating news media and the web showing a recreation of Warina dangling with her feet towards the building, which is incorrect. According to eyewitnesses, Warina was facing away from the building, a small pivotal detail on how she got there and what she was trying to do. Gable, by his own admission, sees Warina disappear off the balcony. He says he does not hear her scream. Although the sound of Warina screaming as she slips and falls to her death is recorded on his phone. Gable does not call the police or ambulance. He doesn't even look over the balcony. That would make him look responsible. Instead, he calls his lawyer. Minutes later, Gabriel leaves his apartment and heads downstairs. When he sees police and emergency surrounding the building, he returns inside and decides to leave through an exit to the parking garage instead. Gable wanders the streets for a while before stopping in a shop to order a slice of pizza before calling his father. Gable was eventually arrested and charged for Warina's murder. On October of 2016, Gable was found not guilty based on what was recorded on his phone. Now everyone has their own opinions on what actually happened that night. Either way, it's sad and very unfortunate. All I could say is, Gable, if you did in fact murder Warina that night, when it's time to meet your fate, I hope it's slow and painful. Again, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification button.